Welcome to Ground Control. You know, I just finished a segment on micro brushless sub 250 gram aircraft that are pretty darn good. Some of them are exceptional. And I completely forgot about my Tiny Wing 450. Um, out of sight, out of mind. I had it parked on a shelf in my RC closet. I was in there looking for something the other day and saw my Tiny Wing 450 and thought, well, there's another pretty nice flying brushless sub 250 gram microplane that I forgot to even mention. So I'm hoping to get one more, acquire one more brushless micro sub 250 gram plane this year. So I will try and update that list before the end of this year. But this is another fairly inexpensive, you could buy it as a kit or you could buy it as a plug and fly. I purchased a plug and fly version. And the plug and fly version stock, it comes with a gyro, it does have full manual mode. It flies really well with the stock setup, but what I found was that the, the built-in brushless ESC on the receiver gyro board does not drive the motor quite as well as my little 6 amp Turnigy Plush 6 amp ESC. It has enough power to do some pretty big loops, to do split S maneuvers, it flies pretty fast with stock setup. And like any wing, it's very maneuverable. Now this tiny wing does fly like a microplane. It doesn't fly like a bigger wing. This wing has probably the most, the densest EPP foam I've ever come across. My all-up weight was just under 97 grams with a 2S 450 milliamp hour LiPo in it. I think with a stock setup, I think it was a little heavier, but I think it was under 100 grams. Because it comes with LED lights that shows you, um, you know, the color of the LED shows you what mode you're in. So when I replaced the stock receiver gyro board in it, I also replaced the LED light strips. I think that the, uh, the I've just got a standard six channel receiver in it now, just complete manual mode. A little uh, Luminar X uh, diversity antenna receiver I've got in it. And, um, as you can see, and a little Turnigy Plush 6 amp uh, 2S brush on CSC in it. And it actually drives that motor better than the stock ESC did. I would say that it probably increased the amount of thrust on this tiny wing by about 20-25%. So it was a pretty significant difference. But the plug and fly version with the stock setup works just fine. And I flew it for a long time with just the stock setup. And it's a very inexpensive, another option. It's a very fun wing to fly. And so, um, I completely forgot about it. So I took it out to fly it. It's been ages since I had flown this wing, so I was pretty rusty with it. I had pretty significant wind out there with it. But um, I did put a couple of flights on it in my last flight session, so. I will meet you out of the field, we'll put it in the air so you can see how it performs. And um, another option for a sub 250 gram brushless micro aircraft. I'll see you out there. The sub 250 gram brushless aircraft that I completely forgot about. I cannot believe I forgot about my tiny wing 450. Anyway, we've got wind out here at 4 to 6. A little bit more wind, and I wanted to come back out and fly this less than 100 gram wing I've got here, especially since I am out of practice. But i got to take what I can get. Okay, launching into the wind. Ooh, we're off into the wind. I will try to fly this close proximity, but I am a bit out of practice with it. And I'm trying to stay out of the sun. Huh. 
<laughs> that was that was a fast roll going downwind pretty fast turning upwind yeah that's that's kind of a stiff breeze for a less than 100 gram wing <laughs> I still can't believe I forgot about this little wing. I don't know how I did that. Oh, it's not doing too bad in this wind, is it? Whoa, yeah, I am definitely out of practice with this one. Now the the um, stock setup on this has a gyro. I do not have a gyro in this. I removed the gyro and put in a standard six channel receiver because I didn't have a four to put in it. And a six amp speed controller. So it's just all manual mode. Pretty big loops with it though, huh? <laughs> it's a it's a pretty nice flying little micro wing, even without a gyro in it. Don't you think? Yeah, and four to seven mile an hour wind. I was kind of slacking off here right now. But I don't think that's bad at all. Big loop. Somebody else going through. <laughs> now this one yeah even though it's less than a hundred grams um, this foam is very dense EPP and it, to me it feels like it's got fairly heavy wing loading and here comes somebody else through Feels like it has fairly heavy wing loading, you know, for its size. So, you know, unless you're going into the wind like I am right now, it doesn't have the best slow flight capability, you know, for a wing. But it is exceptionally maneuverable, just like any wing is. And it's pretty stable, you know, for something, for something that small, um, and flying it in uh, a bit of a wind in manual mode, I don't think that's too bad. I think it's, it handles pretty darn well. And I think another very good option for a sub 250 gram. Sub 200, that's a big loop, guys. Sub 250 gram brushless aircraft. <laughs> cool looking, isn't it? All right, so I'm just about out of my timer. And make sure nobody's coming through there. We'll try and land it on this little dirt lane here. I can stay out of the sun, which may not be too easy. Oh, man! I, I almost caught it. Not quite. <laughs> Uh, that 
is a fun little wing, guys. All right, so I want to put another battery pack in. It's been so long since I have flown this wing, and I'm way out of practice with it. But it's a lot of fun. So I'm going to put it in the air again. See you in a minute. Okay, so let's get it back in the air again. Um, it was a five-minute flight. I was pretty heavy in the throttle uh, part of the time, cruising around part of the time. I had just under 3.8 volts per cell in one of my old 2S 450 milliamp hour lipos. So that's not too bad, I think, you know. For the amount of power that it demonstrates with those big wide loops i think that it has pretty good efficiency i should have given it a little more throttle i launched it there at 50 percent throttle and i i probably should have launched it at about 60. so it was a little squirrely on launch there unlike the first launch it was nice and smooth I should have kept it at 60% throttle. Does want to climb a little bit. You know, it's going into that wind, you know, being less than 100 grams of weight. So this is, this is one of those aircraft that's a lot more fun. It's a lot more fun to fly in less wind because it is so small and so light. Oh, here comes somebody else. They're coming out of the woodwork today, guys. <laughs> it's getting moved around a bit by the wind, but you know, for not having a gyro or anything in it, I think it's doing pretty good. And uh, the pilot is is a rusty on the controls with this one. Oh. Yeah, it demonstrates good power, doesn't it? I think it has an 1105, 5000 kV motor in it. Seems to be a popular motor for these little micros. 1105, 5000 kV. And it is spinning a 3.8 by 3. 3.8 by 3 King Kong Eldark two blade prop. Getting too far away. So, what do you guys think? Another pretty good option, don't you think? Ooh, watch the truck. Watch the truck. I think it's another good option for a sub 250 gram microplane if I don't oh fly it into the sun and lose it or uh, fly it into the truck that's pretty slow that's going that was coming across uh, wind right there maybe it has a better slow flight capability than I remember oh now started to get it to stall there either that or the wind was pushing it over yeah I think the wind was pushing it over <laughs> it comes and it goes. The wind is back. All right, yeah, you see that? <laughs> Isn't that cool, though? <laughs> Oh, stay out of the sun. Don't get in the sun again. What is wrong with me today? I don't know. I don't know. Sweet. Look at that. Oh, a little wiggle out of it. That is pretty cool. Now you can fly, I, I would say if you had the gyro version, um, you could fly it in a small space. He almost hit the truck again. Um, 
you know, with a little finesse, not too much throttle, not too fast, not too slow. Wings are very maneuverable, but you can stall this one. This is a wing that can stall on you. So without the gyro, it might take a little practice to fly it in a really small area. I'm not flying it in a very, very big area here. But then I'm I'm not doing real well either. <laughs> you you don't want to, uh, without being well practiced with it or being rusty with it, you don't want to fly it in a target rich environment. You know what I'm talking what I'm talking about? Uh, not a lot of people around. Oh, and there's a timer again. Okay. Do we have enough juice to do another loop? Oh, we sure do. Plus some. All right. So, come back over here before we have any more company coming. See if we can stay below the sun. Ah! See what I mean? You can't slow that one down a whole lot. It, it would be a lot better if you had a grassy area in which to land this one. Otherwise, it'll dip a wing of cartwheel on you. But, um... Tough as nails. This little wing is just tough as nails. Um, this is another one of those aircraft that's just extremely durable. I don't think I have ever seen EPP foam that dense. I mean, that is some really dense foam. Um, so it holds up really well. I have I've nosed it in. I've cartwheeled it. Um, I've broken in the, one of the vertical stabilizers off of it before and had to glue it back on. It has been abused, and it has been flown in the past. I just have not flown it recently because I've had so many other things going on, testing, reviewing, etc. But a fantastic little micro wing, and this is definitely a micro wing, 450 millimeter wingspan. Micro wing that's very maneuverable, very aerobatic, as you saw, has pretty decent slow flight capability but not as well as a larger wing, especially since, you know, it's got really dense foam. It's a little heavy for its size. I think even at 100, and, and, uh, 100 grams, I think my all-up weight was something like 96, 97 grams, somewhere, somewhere around there. But um, uh, fairly efficient, plenty of power. Another option for you guys. So thanks for watching, and I will see you in the air.